When kids come out here and dig on this site, I think one of the most surprising things that they find is that all of what we're doing is real. What they're finding are things that were actually left in this cellar, both from the 18th century all the way through 1946, the last time it was excavated. Glass. Is that window glass or bottle glass? Flat or curved? Uh, yeah, I think that's window glass. That's what I found. Oh, you've got an oyster shell. Do you know how that oyster got here? No. Do you like to eat oysters? One of the many. I've never had one. Okay. I, I think that for children, this project and this program represents a fairly unique opportunity to see the archaeological process. We've been surprised by how many people have expected this to be a seeded site or a, a fake dig in which reproduction artifacts are used in the soil. So when they find things, they may not be quite as bright and shiny and whole and recognizable as they expected, but what they're finding are things that we typically find as archaeologists. I think that's the edge of the dish. What do you think? The top edge. Like yeah. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, you, you found the rim of something, a bowl or a cup or a plate. Ceramic, where does ceramic go? Where did this come from? So these things that are iron, because the reason we had that over there was Sean was not sure that I was telling him the truth when I told him that this was a nail. And it's true that um, these things get so rusty, it's hard to see inside of them. So what we'll do is we'll take this into the lab and we'll put this on an x-ray plate. And we will x-ray all of the iron to see what's underneath all of that rust. Because you're right, it gets so rusty, it's really hard to see what's underneath. And I think it's helping them to see not only what the archaeological process is, but then they're also getting an opportunity to recognize those things out on the street in our historic buildings. And they're seeing the connection between archaeology and the process of restoring the past.